Phoenix. Yeah. To do the dive. Yeah. It's kind of nifty. So Razor, and that has a very strong hero against Tiny. Especially now that his ultimate doesn't give movement speed anymore. It's kind of easy to just stay on him. And then drain all his damage. Right. Um, Man, did they really prepare for this Tiny? I mean, they knew it was coming. Everybody yeah. talks about him. They feel like he's really the best in the game. Um, I like the new Razor a lot, too. The Purge that you get, it helps you farm a little yeah. bit more. You and, can use and, and Purge itself is very rare in Dota right now. Right. There's only two items and two spells to do it. Mm -hmm. Ten seconds. Well, they have... Well, well Satyr as well, I guess. A little mini Satyr. Satyr, uh, Shadow Demon Ulti. Well, Shadow Demon Ulti also purges. Yeah. Yeah. They have Nullifier and uh, the Necronomicon. Brewmaster Ulti, the Storm Panda. Well, you can dispel it, but it's not really a purge. I guess that's true. Yeah, it's not a yeah. purge. Okay. Yeah, I, and I think that this one is one of the best ones, too, because you can, like, run somebody for down sure. with it. Yeah, 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 for sure. A Doombringer again. Another purge. Here we go. They're lining up the purges. It's time to party. Well, Doom is in response to Ench because you kind of just, like, eat his creep and Ench is somewhat useless. Unless Ench is offlane, then, of course, it's a bit different. Because offlane, Ench is not as reliant on creeps as the position four. Opposition right. five inches. Well, and I think that we've been seeing a lot of enchantresses played in the offlane. I remember the general comes to mind. Um, LGD has been running it a bit on, on FY. Okay. But LGD wasn't very successful with it. Okay. So. <laughs> I'm not sure if you like that one as much. But, but Navi was quite successful with it, if yeah. I remember correctly. And yeah, it's a very strong offlaner, especially if you don't have the heroes to deal with him, which Razor and Doom are not. Right. On the offlane, at least. Well, and I, I think that also, like, you can steal damage, but Enchantress, uh, you can't you hit just him. run away, right? Yeah, you can't hit him. Bad Rider. Okay, so it's going to be the support Enchantress and the off them Bad Rider. Not a bad choice at all. Ench can, in combination with Bad Rider, can put out so much pressure early on to kind of just help the Tiny free farm a bit. We'll actually have to see how they end up laying this, because Tiny can't really solo bottom. Okay. Like, if they put Tiny solo safe, then it would be very awkward. Because you do a Lich Doom duo lane at that point? They will do Lich Doom dual, probably. Okay. And that might also mean that Secret wants to dodge the lane and put Tiny, ES, and Eng off lane. Kind of like an aggro trial lane. Okay. Which could work. They definitely they want to avoid the Lich with the Tiny. Yeah. That's at all costs. Fun. They want to avoid him for sure. And I guess that's the nice thing, too, is that since you have this Razor, he's kind of that bulky safe lane hero that's not going to hurt that much if the Tusk roams around and makes stuff happen or if the Lich doesn't stay in his lane all the time. Right. Well, technically, it could still be a Razor middle, too. Yeah. We'll have to see. Even though um, Moon doesn't really like to play Razor too much, it's usually a mushy hero. Right. So it's most likely safe lane. Yeah, it definitely feels like Well, they will have the last pick, so they will have the choice, but... What does Secret need? Secret needs some kind of... They're lacking a bit of team fight. Yeah, they have... Like, uh, like, like a Puck or something would be really good. Cool. Puck is banned already. Quop is banned as well. All those Five heroes. Morana has gone. Morana has gone. Venno is gone. A lot of mid team fighters are actually just banned out. Team it's a CTY and, and, and a CTY hero. hero is like, it's like OD, those kind of heroes, but it's not really good. Is there any chance that he could play the Tiny? You can probably play it, but Ace has been playing it so far pretty okay. much every game. So. Got it. Well, we'll wait and see. Um, other things... But a typical CTY here is like OD, uh, TA, but TA is pretty bad against Razor and Doom. OD is not Five seconds being remain. very strong either in this matchup. I mean, you can like Hurricane Pike away from the Razor eventually. Yeah, yeah but the lane is a bit rough. Oh, okay. I see what you mean. Well, we'll see what they go for. Sniper. Sniper. Hey. Sniper is really good against the Razor. So it, it will definitely not be a Razor mid. They need some kind of counter to the Sniper to get in close. Although it might be a bit hard because Storm is banned, Quop is banned, Puck is banned. Hmm. I wonder... God, I'm trying to figure out like what actually you could go for because you don't want to play it against the mid lane. Do you take like a normal safe lane here, like a Sven, and try and run it mid, or is that too scary too? The problem is with Razor. There's oh, DG. there we go. That's a cool one. So they're going for a push strat instead. No, but Sniper is really good against that too. I actually think the Sniper last pick. It's very. It's going to be very difficult to deal with for sure. Well, he also has an amazing set, so clearly has one up in his book. Um, <laughs> yeah. Puppy going to be playing the Enchantress, the classic. Yeah. Seen it a million times. With Sniper and Chantress mid lane can do so much. Okay. You have three shrapnels, the guy's edge is going to die. If Ench gets a good creep. 
even against the the Death Prophet. Like, there's a hero that's known for turning around ganks. He's Spirit Siphon a creep. What do you think? I mean, you could probably survive it, but after that, you're kind of dry. Okay. And you're going to have a lot of problems last hitting against the Sniper. All right. I'm with you then. This sounds terrifying. Maneski, so you're feeling like it's going to be a team secret early game win, uh, at least, in the laning stage. Does it depend more upon it, what you get with Enchantress? It, it should be an early game win for a secret, but I think they're going to have a hard time protecting both the Tiny and the Sniper. Okay. Because they both need protection early on. You don't want to lane the uh, Tiny 1v1 against the Doom. Not early. You need some levels advantage. They can do that. Same with the Sniper. You don't really want to leave him solo against the DP because they're going to roam on him with the Tusk and Lich. And yeah, I think if they can secure both the Sniper and the Tiny, then it's going to be very hard for Mineski to win. But as I said, it's very, very hard. But that's going to be their objective. They're kind of just going to sacrifice the Bad Rider, leave him to his own devices. And, yeah. Man, you're making this casting thing. Not they're going to win or not. But uh, early movement out here. Maneski going to be sticking that Doom up to the top lane. Yeah. And just trying to get some early wards down, the they're, normal. They're probably just going to do standard lanes. And the good thing about Razor is he can pretty much 1v1 the Bad Rider. That means the supports are very free. They can roam to mid and top. And bottom lane as well, of course. Right. They can pretty much just do whatever they want to. Lich is most likely going to... You always want to start denying off lane creep. Just in case they try in there, which they will. Secret's not trying to dodge the lanes. Oh, I had a little bit of a play there. There's a, we switched over observers, so I need to try and get my uh, my overlays back over to normal, or rather my spectator things. Whatever, we'll make do. It'll I'm be sure fine. We'll figure it out. Yeah. Interesting to note, Razor started with boots actually. Oh my goodness! And better I did not. Oh, how much does that hurt Fata in this lane? It's going to be, especially if it's a 1v1, which it will be for at least a minute because Ench can't get a creep before that. Uh -huh. It's going to be quite tough for him on the lane. Because usually it's the other way around. The Razor doesn't start with boots and the better it does. Mm -hmm. Okay, so Lich is actually denying a mid creep instead of top. Right, and All right. Doom moving forward. He's going to come over and be able to contest this. The roll forward. But Yapsor not wanting to test it too much, and Ace picks up the bounty rune. Everybody from Maneski just runs away. The sniper's going to be pretty late for lane now. Did Jabs miss that block off on the creeps, it looks like? Yeah, well, there's one creep missing. Yeah, it's back here. He ended up oh. going for the shards, but it... Yeah, yeah he missed it. Okay. The bot lane should be fine for the Razor for the time being. Until they start roaming on him. We will have to see what Eng wants to do. What lane he wants to attack. Yeah. He uh, does start with the Blightstone as well. And actually not going with any creeps at all. Yeah, it's yeah, just solo small. He, he wants to get the Courier. Okay. But the Courier is actually not even walking out right now. So it's not really going to work out. And he, wants, he also wants to get in the deep ward. He still has one. Planted yet. Yep, sort of runs into jabs here up to the top side as well. And that's going to stop any type of rotation that could have come in from yeah. Yapsor. And not going to get blocked off by the shards either. There's a lot of damage on him, though, with yeah. the boots. And you, you see the enchantress, the ward was uh, planted for the courier, but yeah. he's still not moving it out. He might actually still want to snipe it. Yeah, this and is coming out now, he's going to see with the ward. It's going to be really big if he gets it. Yeah, movement in, oh, and oh, obviously oh. very swift. Puppy going to look for the run in. Getting blocked by his own creep, actually. He might have to get it on the wait until, side. Yeah, he's going to wait until it runs back, I think. But usually, it's a lot harder to kill when it runs back than when it runs to the hero. But I think they're kind of forgetting about it. Yep. Yeah, this is going to be a kill. This is a lot of money now. Well, great start, Jabs. Going to be able to find the block off, but he might just be in trouble. Yeah, he can't fight the turn up. The Blightstone. Well, a hell of a lot of damage to him, and didn't reveal the warp there, I don't think. Well, actually, Mushi, nine Napalm stacks on him right now. He was kind of getting aggressive under the tower. Well, he's able to get them all off now and steal some damage from Fata. Yeah. So, the early laning stage, still only 2-2 two and two for Mushi on this Razor in comparison to the... Well, I guess 2-2 two and two on the Bat Rider as well. It's going to get progressively harder to lane against the Bat Rider as Razor. Mm -hmm. Now the one pretty much the easiest, and then as the levels progress, you're going to have a lot of problems. Especially yes. now with the Ench rolling around there. Oh, blocking off Ace. They're messing with them a little bit. They have Eastern as well. Ninja Boogie yeah. does have enough and going to Clarity for a Frost Blast, but not going to go for it. So their plan apparently is to kind of sack this Tiny early and make sure the Bad Rider and the Sniper get a good game. 
Which makes sense because a bad rider in their lineup is the tempo controller, and you always want to make sure your tempo controller gets a pass blink, just so you can assert dominance on the map. Out mid lane again, onto the sniper. A lot of damage with the house scrolling in, and well, it's looking like they're just going to be able to shrug that one off. But DP is really putting the hurt to CTY in the mid lane right now. I'm actually surprised CTY is losing CS quite badly. He's more than double on the DP. Uh oh, bottom lane as well. Mushi is going to get dove here, and well, with all the stacks, all the damage over time, this He's should be dead. a kill. Yeah. No way to turn that around, but Fata's Careful actually taking some damage. Is he going to yeah. die to that? No, he's going to be fine. He's just going to salve up. Run away. First blood drawn. Mushi dies in the bottom lane. What play? But the race is going to have a very, very rough time. They need to make something happen to give him more space. But I can't really rotate. Wait, this is not going to shrapnel at all. He's actually just dead now. Uh oh, T.Y. ran it yet again. They don't have they go for the Crypt Swarm, and yeah, it's going to use it here. Not even actually going to go for it yet. There it is. Moon Dude, finds the kill. Actually, the only reason he died is because he didn't get a Shrapnel at all. It's so weird. Usually, have, <laughs> you usually have two in Shrapnel and three, right? Yeah. Like, What's the thought behind this build? Well, he wants to stay out of range so he can't get like, initiated on, but the task just rolled on him, and then he was... I think Shredder is just trying to not go, but we'll see. He'll probably pick it up at 4 and 5 then. Yeah, hopefully. Well, Gaptor is getting ran out again by Mushi. 56 damage stolen, almost enough for the kill, but the intent used, and Mushi is going to get turned around upon. They bring in the Hellfire Smasher, and oh, Mushi's dead again. And to hell he got smashed. Yeah, he did. My goodness. Well... They're getting a lot out of those rotations bottom lane. Whereas Tiny is kind of just accepting his fate that he's being sacked right now. He's not trying to get too much, he's not getting greedy, he's just getting what he can. Like a little pull here and oh, there. Oh no, mid lane again. CTY gets rolled on he is level 3 right now compared to Moon who is level 5. But I really think it's just a very big snowball effect because of the first kill they got. Yeah. It would have never happened. Well, it... I guess, could you say that part of that was also because there weren't any TP rotations, or...? No, our TPs wouldn't really have saved him, I think. Okay. Because he shouldn't even be in a dying position against these two heroes, I think. Not early on, at least. Uh-oh. Go, oh, man. A whole flurry of misadventures, and they're going to try and die for it for this Doom. In the meantime, Mushi gets a return kill. Ace very low. Is he going to go down? Oh, my God. Ice, what a freaking player. And just going to walk away from Yapsor. They have a roll. Do they want to go for it here? They end up going for the Inferno Blade. Yaptor wants to make this happen. He is going to be able to find a kill, but it looks like he's going to pay the cost as he goes down. Dead from the grave, a double. This guy's pretty good at yep. Dota. That's what I said, man. Ice, he just makes way too much chaos, man. He's way too good at this. <laughs> yeah. Was she in trouble? Awesome. Uh-oh. Bottom lane. Getting gone on. Is she trying to run? They have Nick and Boogie in the area. Slow down. Turn around. Not going to happen. So Fata trying to find Fata's something back for his team. But yeah, like you said, he is going to go down. Yeah, we also missed the kill on the Enchantress. Or did you catch that one? No, I didn't. I just yeah, uh, did Razor that. solo kill the Enchantress. I'm not entirely sure how. But... What? how we... And it happens. Yeah. So sniper level 4, DP level 6 and a half. So level 1 shrapnel now. Radiant scanning. I'm going to switch over one more of these settings real quick just because I'm crazy like that. Uh, yeah, no there worries. It is. So this, this Doom is incredibly fat right now. 3,000 net worth, top one in the entire game. And Interesting skill build. 113? Usually people go 131. Huh, yeah. It's, I guess, just the longer base burn damage, the max HP. It's mostly the cooldown that goes down a lot. Okay, that's the main thing. Yeah. A sniper things. again in the mid lane is going to get just rolled on. Again. It's very, very hard for him to play now because the task is actually very high level compared to what it should be because it's not like three times the mid lane now. And I mean, you have level six on Doom, you have level six on DP. They're using it to start to bring down this tower. It's going to lose more than half health. This is really, really chaotic and rough. And well, they doomed up here in the top lane onto Ace, but they weren't able to find the kill. Heals from Puppy, save his life. Yeah, well, the only upside for Sigurd right now is that the Razor is relatively poor. Mm -hmm. Because he died like. How many times did he die? Three, Three times. times. Yeah. That's like only upside Sigurd for right now. 
So how comfortable would you be right now for Mineski? Like, you don't have a razor that's very far, but everybody else is doing quite well. I think Mineski feels quite comfortable. Simply because the biggest issue that I've had is the sniper. My sniper is being controlled, like, immensely. He has not even 2k net worth, level 5, while he beats almost 8. Was three and a half, and it's gonna be very hard to protect the sniper from the ganks right now. Well, you mentioned that was what they needed to be able to do this game was protect the tiny, protect the sniper. Yeah. Neither of those things have really happened, and we're in a position now, eight minutes in, where it's a two thousand net worth lead, and feel like he could snowball from well, there. Well, the bad rider will have to make a lot of space for his team right now. He opted to go for the drums first, and. That means his blink dagger is going to be delayed by a lot too. So, right. what I told you before about the tempo controller, I thought he would go for blink dagger first because they invest so many resources into him. But with the drums, he really gives that back to the team. Drums is more like a farming item on Bad Rider. Right. So, so why do you think that he ended up going for that? What's the what's the upside of going for a drums early in Fata? Well, drum means that you're for the stronger. Okay. But the question doesn't really make a difference because. Radiant team fight is amazing. Okay. They have DP, they have Lich, they have Tusk, and they have Doom. I don't think you can team for them e even with drums. I would have liked to see um, Big Digger first on him for sure. Okay. Well, in the meantime, we've got the level 8 Doom. It's about to be off cooldown again in 20 seconds, roughly, as he gets another Infernal Blade off. Man, that's gotta be so frustrating. He just walks up in every 4 seconds Infernal Blade Ace. Over and over and over again. Yep. Oh, don't forget the Doom to Lasso? actually get reduced by the tiny ult. Yeah, down bottom, Mushi took a lot of damage there, and they do have five stacks on him right now. Fata trying to chase here with these drums. He's making it work, actually. Turns over all the jabs. He's not quite going to be able to find that kill. And now with Firefly wearing out, Fata is in a little bit of trouble. Can they make this happen? The snowball forward, the kill is there. Manetsky making the plays that they need him to. And with Mushi here as well. He'd be able to get clean up onto Yapsor with the plasma field, or possibly even Puppy if they can find the finish onto him. The stun, it comes out, and Yapsor looking like he's gonna die. That almost a double kill. Puppy, Puppy goes that. down. Jabs, find the double for himself. Ace tosses back in Ninja Boogie, but they won't be able to get a kill. He can't even hit him. Ice Armor. Oh, he oh. throws the tree. All right, well done. Nice. That's how he answers the attack speed problems. But that means Doom. Complete free farm. He's going for a shadow blade. He's going to be a very, very, very big issue for secret. And Maneski still won that fight. Really. And they did, yeah. And they forced a tiny rotation. He didn't want to really rotate. But he can't really stay top either. Right. It's a problem he has. And Enchantress wanted to TP into this, but anybody that comes as lane was just dead. Doom is about to hit his level 10 talent also. But yeah, you see, the biggest problem is really Sniper doesn't have a lot of net worth. He couldn't even pressure mid tower. Yes. Where's the DP going right now? Bottom? A DP ult was used again, actually, to bring down the tier 1 mid tower yeah. in the meantime. So they actually won bottom fight and they got a tier 1 mid tower. <laughs> they won the bottom fight, tier 1 tower, the free farming dude. It's all going wrong right now for secret. I mean, you can see it in a gold, 3k gold advantage already. Yeah. And it, it, you can see the, the posture of people that don't feel like they can fight right now. They're all just sort of hiding and they want to protect the sniper if possible. Right. Yeah. I think the early game objectives for secret weren't really accomplished. So they will have to, I guess you just farm until you get the blink dagger on the bad rider. Because your tiny isn't going to go for blink. Actually, tiny is also going for drums. Hmm. Two drums. Sniper has something in the courier. Face boots. Alright. <laughs> Not that exciting. <laughs> it's a rough <laughs> life out here for a sniper, not gonna lie. And Charter's his medallion. This is pretty nice for Ace though, he's able to take away a little bit of a stack. Yeah. Uh, for sure. Any things that you can get like that are really helpful, but yeah. he might end up just dying here. Look, look at Puppy. He wants to carry his team going from Midas. Hey, man. <laughs> you gotta do it sometimes. <laughs> yeah. I mean, yeah, it's not wrong. I'm the carry now. Jeff is actually level 7 on the task. Alright, well, that's Doom. Oh, Sniper. No, no, no. Sniper dead again. <laughs> can they get an eye? Oh. Not quite. <laughs> Doom finds the finish. And meanwhile, the wraparound over here, they tried to pull one in, but it's a last one. Jabs. He's just gonna TP away, Avalanche oh, not in range! Oh! I said Avalanche is just dead, he's gonna burn to death. It's really oh. frustrating, I'm sure. Man, these little things, if they go wrong to you, uh, it makes you feel bad. Yeah. yeah. And I, I'm sure that's one of those moments, like, your camera is really far to one side, and the angle of it looks like Avalanche hit. Look. Yeah. Especially when Sunstrike with Invoker, it looks yeah. like I'm on, and then I look, oh, there's a little gap.
Well, Poppy just got demolished Doom as well. Man, Ice is making so many to do this again. I don't know, he's making so much space. Yeah, look where he died! Uh, he's, he has he a Shadow Blade now as well. <laughs> look, look at his network, 6.6k. Yeah, well, bottom lane is Ace is just gonna drop. They find the kill and it's four down here. They take the tower 14 to 5, 7k okay. net worth. Yeah. Secret need to stop this bleeding right now. They need to recoup, they need to play together. They can't re-split up anymore. At least four people have to be together at all times. So which are the four that need to be together and who's going solo for a little bit? Is, that, is there anybody that can really survive a gank or do you just like, stick them far away? Nobody can really survive a gank. It could only be the bad rider, but he didn't go for the blink. So the main priority right now is to get the blink on the bad rider so they can actually initiate fights. So I would probably split like Tiny kind of alone because he has the highest possibility of getting away from all the heroes they have. Okay. But they definitely secure this blink dagger right now. Yeah, he's He's still far away, 2,000 gold almost. That, that's, that's about the whole item. <laughs> that's about yeah. how much the whole item costs. Pretty much, yeah. <laughs> I still put that in. Oh no. The roll I'm in, they're gonna try and get it. The stun sounds magnetized there. I don't know if this is gonna end up working. Can't they burst through moon? He has still 10 yeah. stick charges in a Yule, Yule Scepter. Yeah. And, well, oh, Ice, ice maybe. playing with them. Oh. If he goes down, this could be something of significance. They're trying to find a kill onto him, but still running away, still getting the region. He is Should've almost played. Played. down. Played. He's got the regen from the passive. Uh, That's not enough. So uh, he went a bit too aggressive. <laughs> he should not have died there. It's quite a big kill for them. Look at that. He traded the off lane for the mid, and they got a thousand extra gold for that. Oh, I mean, in this case though, off lane is like their most fun hero on the map right now. Yeah, very indicative of the state of the game currently. But yeah, still the rate is quite poor, so that's like a positive for, for secret, but they need to get this blink dagger, another thousand gold. I mean, you say that the Razor is quite poor, but he's also high net worth in every other yeah, 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 yeah. enemy team, so... Well, I guess it's a negative for secret. Yeah, exactly, <laughs> what does that say about it? Oh, but there's so many drums in this game, four drums. Raid's also the drum. They're just banging on the drums, man. They're having a party. Well, look at Tusk, he turned gold for a blink dagger, actually. He could've got mana boots and an urn on top of that. His so, never was 4k. So Jabs Blink Dagger before the Bat Rider probably. Uh, yeah, it depends. Uh, Maybe not. On the farm priority secret has right now. But I think the uh, Bat Rider should have the highest farm priority for sure. Yeah. And Puppy's still saving up for the Midas. So let's assume for a second that they do manage to get a Blink Dagger in a decent timing. Who is the main target that they want to go on to try and kill? DP for sure. Okay. But well, it's going to be action top. Yeah, they got the catch with the charge there. He's just gone. I mean, you can talk all you want about status resistance, but it doesn't matter when the shards caught him anyways. That's all my task is really good against him. Status resistance is nothing against that. And then later on, they don't even have yet the sigil. It's going to be so annoying to be tiny later on. Yeah, what I was getting at is uh, they need to focus down with DP, but it's going to be a problem because Tusk is pretty much going to have to blink dagger at the same time as Bad Rider, mm -hmm. and then you can just snowball them out of the ladder. Right. So they will have to somehow like grab him and then make sure the the, the um, Earth Bridge silences the Tusk. Right. Like, That's some a lot kind of things that, that need to happen. Yeah, yeah, but they're so far behind right now, they need to outplay them completely. Now they're just getting Roche with the Exorcism and they can't fight this at all. Man, look at this too. They've got the double ice armor going on from Lich and then also having Doom in the game. So right yeah. now DP is just sitting with, what is that, 23 armor. Yeah, it's a plus 17 armor if uh, Frost armor is maxed. That's so crazy. And the slows also stack. It means if a meteor hero hits you, you get slowed twice. Oh no, and they went in to try and take it right as the Roshan falls, and now maybe they're gonna try and take this fight. The Razor is very low. If they could burst him down, this could be decent. The Chain Frost starting to bounce. Ninja Boogie needing to run away from him, and they do find that lasso. Now, do they decide to chase any further? Looks well, like that's gonna be He's got a double kill. Blink on the battery right now. All but right. Blink at the same time also on the Tusk. Right. So basically the counter to Edward already is online as well. That's pretty scary. And Bad Rider's gonna have a very hard time. If he doesn't last with DP, he's gonna get Yule. If he lasts with DP, DP's probably gonna get snowballed. They need to find him maybe when they're not on five man. If it's yeah, a five yeah. man, it's gonna just be gone. They I mean, this has to be careful splitting up now. It should probably be like kind of like a 4 1. Doom is kind of doing his own thing, and the other four are uh, working together. And then Doom can just connect because he's pretty fast. Can Doom solo kill anybody on the map right now? If they're on? Probably everybody except Tiny. Tiny got 2.2k health. 
Yeah. And yeah, Doom doesn't really last on him. Oh, moving in right now for the sniper. They get the shards perfectly, but it's all a bait, an elaborate bait. The chase forward, though, the snowball's there. They still managed to find the kill on the sniper. But will it be worth it? Jabs, he's in trouble. He falls to Ace, a killing through for him. Now Ice trying to run away. Mushi is back here as well, trying to be that wall in front of him. To keep him alive. He can't slow. It's all coming out, but he's able to walk away. And now DP here as well. Ice walks back in towards them. They don't have exorcism again for 35 seconds, but with the Doom down on the Enchantress, slowing her up and trying to kill off the odds oh, away. Ace saving his buddy, but is it going to be enough? Oh, he had no. nonetheless. The worst case scenario, you say you swap if you die for it. And now they're also probably going to lose the Bat Rider. He wants that kill. He does take down the Doom, which is a hell of a lot of gold towards him, but Fata ends up falling nonetheless. I think it was worth it. The Bat Rider trade for the Doom that was definitely good by Fata. Oh, yeah. Well, and they managed to pick up one more on the way out. So Secret still fighting back here. Yeah. Well, that was mostly because there was no exorcism. Right. And they basically died the tower with two people only and got punished for it. That was a good reaction by Secret. But I think once they just start five manning towers with Exo system, it's going to be very, very hard for Secret to actually do anything about it. That's always the thing, right? Like, you have these moments where it looks amazing, but you know that it's just because the team fight was terrible for this one particular team. Yeah. Um, it's but... basically everything that could go wrong for Mineski kind of went wrong there. <laughs> like you Doom and Enchantress. Yeah. Bad Rider gets like 10 stacked on a Doom. If you have 10 health on stacks, you're kind of screwed. Yeah, for sure. But so as a player, when that type of thing happens, is it just because you're like, all right, we're so far ahead, let's just fight it. We just want to fight right now. Yeah, a lot of times it's just that you overestimate how strong you actually are, yeah. and you just kind of like die. <laughs> but usually it's fine if it only happens once. You have, yeah. you have to prevent it from happening like twice or three times. Yeah. That's actually how Nubi lost earlier today against um, <coughs> Kingwin. Because they overestimated themselves so much, they just kept chain feeding three, four times. Mm -hmm. And Mineski has to make sure it doesn't happen. They're very distant, so I don't think it will happen. For sure. Well, well 6,000 net worth lead, it's 19 to 11. And maybe another opportunity here. This is the way it could begin. Uh, Tiny is Ace in trouble. Dead. Even though the shots miss, he's pretty much just dead. It's, it, it, everything that he can do, he's doing. He's in the avalanche yeah. enemies, he's about to die. Yeah, he did a lot of damage, at least. Well, not a lot, but he did damage. I mean, <laughs> they're all regenerating again yeah. from it anyways. So top lane, are they going to commit exorcism for this? I don't think they have to. They can just pretty much just hit it down. They have but, a minute left on Aegis as well. Yeah. Or they use exorcism, but they want to go high ground here for sure, too. They want to damage high ground a little bit. Radiant immediately fortifies. What do you think about the DP Blink Dagger build, by the way? We haven't got a chance to talk about that at all. very good with the ults in combination, because you can kind of be like an initiative for your team. Okay. But it also means you're a lot weak on the front lines. Right. Because you're missing those 2k goals. Oh, gold. the chase. Life. They do have a chain frost onto one, the stun silence, and only hit there on the Lich, as well as the Death Prophet. And to be brought low is going to fall. They aren't going high ground, but it looks like they're going to secure the other tier 2 tower. Yeah. But I, I don't think it's a winning condition for Secret. I don't think they can last the Razor. I actually, they have to th they have to lasso the DP. But they tried to pick off the Razor because DP was just showing top. But you saw with the Blink Dagger as well as the Yules and the Face which was just there instantly. Right. They probably didn't expect them to be there that fast. Yeah. But, but they're in a perfect world. You lasso they're the DP. In a perfect world. And you somehow silence the task. Mm -hmm. And then you win that team fight. And that's kind of like your ticket back into the game. Wow. And you see the gold advantage now, 11k. It's, it's a lot of gold, man. And that's the thing, is that it's sort of been this way for a long time now. Now they're getting into these items that are like, close out the game items. BKB on Razor. Uh, BKB being built as well on the Doom. Um, the DP, I think, already has the BKB done. Like, all of these things just mean that what was already a tough game for Secret is going to become even harder. Because Mineski is itemizing very smart. Because they're going for those BKBs, as you said. Yeah. Whereas a lot of other teams would just go for like more greedy items, more farmy items. Right. Like maybe Octarine on DP is very, very, you know, it's like a very nice thing to have. Yeah. But it's not really like a game closer. It's very risky. Uh huh. 
It, so, it feels fun to say that. Yeah, they're itemizing Ooh. correctly and very good for them. Oh, wow, the, 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 the dip is there. Is it going to be enough? They already caught him to Earth, but he can't use anything else. But Moon actually got low HP and then immediately up to full HP because he has three spirit siphons going simultaneously. Everybody trying to run away, but they're all going to die. Blink forward, rolling in on full stop. Sure, Aptor actually manages to get off all of his abilities afterwards. It's a five man magnetize, but he's already four dead. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised if we saw. Okay. GG soon. Yeah, it's okay, okay. I'm kind of getting out of control. And also look at Sniper. He went first item Blink Dagger. This is... What? He, look at his damage. <laughs> it's the CTY. Yeah. It's the CTY. It's uh, coming back. I mean, look, look at his damage. <laughs> like 87 plus 34. And you're hitting for that mid 23. You're just gonna exorcism high ground now and... What do you do to stop? You hit them for like, what, 50 damage? It ain't great. It, it ain't great. He has four points in shrapnel now. At least. There you go. That's something, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, the game was really looking bad for them already, but in order to become it, you actually need some kind of damage. Yeah. Some kind of survivability. And Blink Digger does not do that for you. I mean, I guess to be fair, if he didn't... Like, let's say, what would be the other yeah. item? Like a Dragon Lance or something? Yeah, like Hurricane Pike. Maybe a Mjolnir or a Maelstrom yeah. first. Like, it, it doesn't feel like that would really change the complexion of the game either that much, right? Oh, it would not, but at least you itemize kind of, like... For later in the game, yeah. What, what, what does a blink tag honestly do? Okay, they don't go on you, but what can you do to them? Yeah, that's true. Like you hit them, but you actually tickle them. <laughs> Look at that armor. Like he doesn't do anything, right? Yeah, it's true. It's it's a hard game. Uh, game is hard. Actually, Ray is also about a blink tag now to be able to jump on that what? sniper. <laughs> so many blink tags. That's also the reason why DP bought a blink tag as well. <laughs> They just want to jump on the sniper. Even though I don't really know why, because it's a non-factor right now. I think they should focus more on other heroes. Yeah. Like the only problem they have right now is the tiny and bad right now, in my opinion. I, is that even a problem, though? To be honest. Well, it's not a problem, but I the think they'd be worried about. Okay. I mean, I mean, they're feeling, you know, very rich. Yeah. Why not just get a blink bigger? Blink is good on every hero. Yeah. Just get it out there. they have already got their oh, BK. Look at Doom, man. He's almost got a Shiva's guard. He's so damn fat. They're pretty and big. DP's also working on Shiva's guard, so they're working on two Shiva's guards. Tiny just finished the same chapter. Mask of Madness on Sniper. That's what I want to see. Some damage, at least. Alright. Mask of Madness, minute four. But imagine the mom, as well as like a dragon, it would be way more impactful than his blink dagger right now. Yeah. It just makes more sense to kid together. Yeah. Maybe he needs the rapier. Well, don't be there. Ench, no boots yet, but the Midas. He's actually skipping boots entirely. I Going for a four step next. I mean, who needs boots? You've already got 365 I mean, movement speed. Yeah, and just damn fast. And he got the... Uh, um, what's it called? Oh. No, he doesn't even have wind base. I almost got away there. The uh, Fox had jumped before Ice was able to get any damage onto him, but now five are running mid. Guess what, Fox? You are kaput. You are very kaput. Oh, no! The shards oh. blew it off. Uh, I think he... It's not kaput. Still bad? No. KB, turn around, doom the tiny. That was not a very good doom. It's actually just <laughs> gone already. You see that? Doom and BKB down. They gave him one assassinate on the backside. He's heading away. Just like, take that. I think if Sigur, uh, not Sigur, if Mess wants to play safe, they just wait for Roche right now. Okay. Take the Roche, get the Aegis cheese, and then go high ground with that. In the meantime, they should take the tier 2 bottom though, because there's no way Sigur can actually fight them. But who do you go with? Do you take everybody down there, or do you just send a couple? Well, right now you don't have to worry about mid lane anymore. So what you should do, push out top lane with one hero. Maybe th like smoke three bottom, DP pushes out top and TP's bottom, or Doom TP's bottom. Mm -hmm. Like the most basic rotation, basically. Okay. One guy pushes out top, the other three run bottom. And when the top lane is pushed, then you just TP there. Look at that. They're, they're listening to you through the microphone, man. <laughs> they know what's happening. It's because they're giving a lot of space to Secret right now. And Secret shouldn't be allowed to have the space, actually. Yeah. This time should not be farming at the enemy tier one tower. Yeah. He should be scared to even leave base. I guess that part of that also has been pretty good vision by Secret to try and make sure that yeah. they know where they are. Actually, what I would really like to see as well. Oh, they, they just bought the gem on Lich as well. Yeah. Man, they really must be hearing me. They're listening to you, man. <laughs> it's almost like you're a professional player or something. What the hell? Yeah. I didn't guess that. <laughs> Base chase, maybe gonna be able to find it, blink away, mm, and they I all get up. out. That's very nice. Roshan just respawned, by the way. For the next, next objective. They're, they're gonna get the tier 2. 
And then they're gonna commit exorcism for Roshan, wait for the next exorcism, and then take the last set of wrecks. At least it's the most logical. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Unless... Wait, I guess go they Roche could right be now? worried about if Roche is up or something. Yeah, they, they want to go to Roche. That is not a fair call. Yeah. Why not? For sure. Yeah. Use the exorcism there straight. So, ways for Secret to get back into this. You, you just go in, you steal Roshan, that's all you gotta do. Well, okay, like an amazing <laughs> Roche fight sounds very nice, but very unrealistic. Yeah, for sure. But at the same time, if they give them eggs and cheese, winning this game is even more unrealistic. Yeah. So, oh. some wise words. Well, I guess Sniper is slowly pushing out the blade. <laughs> He's <laughs> He's got <laughs> I think the creeps are almost doing more than him at this point. They don't. Oh, they, they do come with the exorcism. This is number three, right? This is just number three. Yeah. It's number two, yeah. No refresher shard. If they get refresher shard on the DP, oh my god. It's gonna be dirty. Would you go. Is there ever a world that you give it to the Doom for two Dooms? It is possible to, yeah. I mean, they have a lot of refresher heroes. Yeah. Even Razor, one. double Eye of the Storm, can be an amazing source of damage. So Razor, I think, might be in my league for like top favorite heroes after the patch because it, not just that, not that I think he's necessarily good, but I like that they changed him in a way where he feels more fun to play now. What do you think about the hero? I mean, yeah, of course. Before he was kind of just like a like a car; it would just be really fast and stuff. Yeah, but now he's really fast and perch people. It's kind of cool, right? Randomly, yeah. The only oh. thing I don't like is this random. Oh, fuck. Well, force up a BKB, I guess. Yeah, that was a little bit odd. Well, why did he just keep there? Maybe he thought that he was jumping on him, and that he had vision, I guess, and that he was going to get lasted. It, that was completely random because Fata blinked on him. They both like were in the same area. I saw he just uh, Fata kind of just blinked away, but blinked on him, right? Yeah, exactly. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Fortuitous stuff. Things coming up secret okay, a little bit. So Doom just TP top because he saw a sniper there, and just saw Doom bottom. There's no way he's expecting this. Yeah, this is great. Yeah, well played. Sniper, going to get caught. Ran at. There's a lot of pings on the map, it looks like. And, well... well sniper's having a rough game, 1-8. No buyback, either. Gold Wait, just bought a mouse from actually. If he gets up in time, which he will... Yeah, no exorcism for 40. They might actually be able to fit this. Okay. A little bit. A little bit. More than before. We'll see. I... I... I mean... They have Greaves on Tusk, also. There's a lot of items right now that I feel like Maneski have, and they're they're in a pretty freaking good position. Um, was that level 19 on Tusk? What the hell? 40%. Yeah, 40%. Level 10. God, so good. That's the reason why he's so strong as yeah. a support. But yeah, now you see the Sigil too. The tiny actually doesn't attack anymore. <laughs> <laughs> That's so sad. Oh, poor Tiny. They actually have a lot of spells that are so great against Tiny. Even the Siphon Life, mm -hmm. or Spirit Siphon, yeah. makes them not be able to run away anymore. They took the speed or a creep from for the Doom. No, he, no, no, he just took it because Enchanter sent it at them and just ate it. Oh, okay. No, it's just so like, they don't get vision or whatever. Jeez. How petty. That's great. I love that. So double Shiva's up as well. Now they're both building Octarine cards as well. They just want to have the same items, I think. <laughs> That's great. Lich got gem as well as Glimmer Cave. Lich is actually different. He's making it happen. Well, in the meantime, it's also mid lane rotation in for Ace, possibly. He doesn't quite have that level 3 grow for the maximum status resistance yet. But he's getting close. What is he going for? AC? All right. Oh, Okay, you really want to go BKB on Tiny this game, but you also don't, because BKB is a really bad item on Tiny. That's... Yeah. I think like it's a pretty good item, but the status resistance makes it, like, fit so useless, you know? You yeah. can stun for like a second. Oh god. Look at this over here as well, oh, they're just gonna run at him. Just being run over, yeah. Sniper, Sniper he gets gone. There's only on top Get out of, of here! Get out of here! more of the chase. Evacuate! <laughs> Way. They actually made that work okay. Yeah, but they're, they're, they're gonna get the top tower with the exorcism now. Yeah. No back to protection. Oh, silence on the three. They don't want to walk up to high ground yet. That right, there's still something they need to be a little bit careful about. But the chase for the doom is already there. Fod is gone. Mushi pops his BKB. They're running in. They do have a glyph here, but 
Oh, the exorcism about to wear off, and uh, maybe I saw a little bit of trouble. They throw the chain for us to force everybody back. Fata, he buys back his Womaneski. Maybe not feeling as comfortable as yeah. before. Well, they forced out a lot of resources of yeah. Seek, so they're fine with just backing off right now. I'm not entirely sure how long the ages is still up. Um, it looks like it's still 45 seconds. 45 seconds. Yeah. So they won't be able to use it anymore. But they still have a cheese as well. Razor just finishes agonims. Nice. I like that. Build. I thought he had AC queued up, and I was going to ask you about the Ag still for Razor. Actually, Axe, I don't understand why he didn't take the talent for the for the ult, and, but the 10 armor instead. Yeah, I think that he had it queued up where he wanted to go AC, but then he changed his mind. He just wanted to end the game, maybe. Oh, right. But yeah. I'm, I'm with you. Because the minus 0 0.1 does a lot. It's like yeah. Every one, every 0 0.4 seconds, it's so much damage. Yeah, it's crazy. And it's also minus one armor every time. So you do like two and a half armor every second. I'll trust your math, definitely. Yeah, I'm an engineering man. <laughs> did he pop it for nothing though? Why did he pop well, it? Well, just to farm okay. the engines. I guess that they don't want to fight since they don't have Aegis anyways. Yeah. You can see the, the cooldown of the DP ult and raise ult is kind of identical right now. Like 10 seconds less, but you know. Oh, that's glorious. Yeah. Well, it's kind of what you do with raise. You just ult and you kill the engines with it. I am, I'm sort of looking between this Enchantress and the Sniper. It feels like Enchantress is going to be the one doing more of the damage. Oh yeah, for sure. Come like on, the Sniper? It's, it's, he needs some time. He needs like 20 minutes and then they have a good fighting chance. But whether he gets 20 minutes or not, not a question. I feel like I've seen this story before. The App Store. Oh, they pop BKP. It's not happening, man. And in a way, and is gonna die. Pup deals trouble. He is gonna get brought down, and now the Exus is back to cool down. Uh, uh, 28 gold lead. Neski looking quite strong, and this is there looking to finish off game number one. Who said they were tired of flying in? I <laughs> know, exactly, right? They're ready. They're popping. They're, they're here to play, man. Uh, something that I think, in case anybody missed it, they flew in today and. Yeah. Oh, going to force Secret down in game number one. And I'm thinking about this going into game number two. Was it just like drafting error? What, what was it, it, exciting for you that made them win this game? Well, I, I, the early objectives they had, which was protecting 